is it all about David Taylor's efforts, or are there other efforts in the works to talk about financing or brainstorming different options for building that arena? Well, I, I would say right now, the three of us, the, the three of us are looking for uh, looking forward to David Taylor coming back with his financing solutions. Um, I don't think he'll be, you know, he, David Taylor and Icon, they're not going to be Superman on this issue. Um, they are not going to come back with, you know, a silver bullet how you do this. They're going to come back with a menu of options of how this can get done with or without the Sacramento Kings with a Maloose participation with an NBA franchise or without. Um, it's once that comes forward, I think it's imperative that the Sacramento City Council and other regional leaders, uh, elected officials, come together in a courageous, courageous manner and figure out how we move forward uh, with this project. And it's going to require the business community. It's going to require labor. It's going to require elected officials to all come together and work hand in hand to solve this challenge. It's not going to be one individual. It's not to be one group. Uh, or one, you know, one elected official. It's going to re require a significant regional effort. Well, I, I can speak from downtown. I think clearly this is a time when nobody's looking for uh, additional taxes or investment. But saying that, I think that we need to be open to look at these opportunities. We need to wait, and there's a lot of questions on what is going to be identified related to the study that David's doing for the next 90 days. What kind of public investment options are there? What kind of private sector opportunities there are? You know, whether or not the level of investment opportunities for suites and others, it, it, it's not something we focused on. But I think that we need to be willing to reach out to our constituency. And I I think we've been, been very clear with the constituency downtown that there may very well be some form of investment that is going to need to be made over and above current taxing that would initiate and allow this project to move forward. And I don't think we should take anything off the table at this point. I think we should be open to looking at every opportunity to explore if we truly think that this facility is something that we want to have, and we absolutely do. But well, the voters have turned that down already. <coughs> Why do you think you can do it again in this economy? Well, this, this, is about, this isn't about previous opportunities. This is about creating new opportunities and moving forward. We think that it's a different argument. We're not having the same argument we had in 2004. This is a way for us to strengthen the existing assets that we have. We're trying to take aside the opportunities that are the discussion of this is just for uh, in support of the team. This is just for in support of basketball. This is about creating an investment opportunity to strengthen the existing assets. And we think it's a different discussion than we had in the past. Do you think the King's leaving will make that discussion easier to have? You know, I, I honestly don't know the answer to that. It, it, it's a different discussion because I think the discussion then about how we uh, how we fill this facility, what other kind of options are, um, but I think more than ever we do think that this facility downtown will create more opportunities for investment. Let me uh, just add uh, one thing to that. that we. We talk, uh, you're, we're starting to hear a lot of talk about, about taxes. And when we look at the tax dollars, the tax revenue generated, we can't make the assumption that all of that is going to come out of the taxpayer's pocket because there obviously are going to be uh, many businesses that would do quite well because of uh, a facility being uh, downtown. And, and there's going to be an opportunity for them to participate in a pretty big way as well. Can you touch a little bit more on what Sacramento's losing? with having ARCO and not having a new facility like Kansas City or these other cities have in, in terms of conventions? I mean, getting big things like Denver got the Democratic National Convention a few years ago, things like that. Well, uh, sure. I, I, I think we probably all have uh, weigh in on that. I just tell you from our standpoint that uh, when the, the facility has got in, a, in disarray where we have people that come out and look at the facility and we're, now we're not in the discussion anymore because of the, the state of the facility. And as I said, we have uh, a number of folks that say if the downtown facility becomes a reality, call us back and you definitely are back in the game. We have a number of those folks. Yeah, do you have so, like a dollar figure that we're losing out on a year basis or anything? Has that been NC2As, do you know the economic impact? Yeah, in NC2As, uh, our the economic impact that we track was about a million and a half dollars. Uh, you know, the Sharks used to play a, a game or two exhibition games here because uh, they they can't keep the ice uh, hard. They've left town. Um, it's probably a little bit less to, because we don't bring necessarily as many people from out of town. But in, in the the list goes on and on and on about concerts that have decided not to, you know, consider. Sacramento because of the state 
of, uh, of the facility. What entities are what entities have told you that they would be willing to talk to you again? But most of the, the the folks that we've talked to are the ones that need big um, general session space. So those folks that are looking for you know ten to fifteen thousand seats. Um, obviously, if we have ten or fifteen thousand people in town, uh, it, it becomes a, a challenge for the meeting planner if everybody's got to park down here and drive out there. If we had the facility in downtown, it makes that uh, that choice to pick Sacramento much easier. These conventions or other sports teams? What are we talking about? Th those would be mostly religious conventions. You want, talk, you want to talk about perception? Any sports teams? I'm sorry. Any sports teams? In regard to, you mean like the NC2As? Or, or professional teams. Uh, I, I don't know, I haven't had any discussion with professionals. Well, that's what I was asking. No. 